What's up, everybody? It's Tuesday, and let's hope I don't break nothing. How you feeling today? I'm just riding my way to wherever it takes me. Tease in my taste. Can you picture a place where there's peace and grace? I leave the blueprints on my steps you can trace. What's up, everybody? It's your boy HVAC Roddy here. Earlier in the week, just want to say thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and stay tuned for you know weekly content. Woo. What's up, everybody? Today's Tuesday. It's really cold. Oh my gosh, it's so freezing. This is probably because it's so early in the morning. It's about 7:30 in the morning, which is pretty early for me. It's just so freezing. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm um, just warming my car up. Don't know if you can hear, even hear me with the audio. My front of my car is just frozen like that but i probably should get some water and just you know, fix that myself but no we're gonna just sit here and talk for a while and if it's not unthawed out by then i'll just get you some get some water um today's just more some maintenance um it's middle of winter you ain't really gonna get that much um okay okay wiped off a little bit oh you're not gonna get that many service calls especially as a young technician as myself you don't really get the the amount of service calls that much as like the other guys since they're more experienced. So I just been doing some maintenance here and there and a little bit, some services here and there throughout the last couple of weeks. But that's what we're gonna really do today. Um, first trip is to Bethlehem, which is an hour away from here. So it's gonna be a long, long drive. But, oh wow, it actually cleared up pretty, pretty good. Yeah, that's nice. I don't need to get no water. So we can really just head out now. Um, I think my car a little bit warmed up. It's still freezing. But yeah, so let's get ready to head to Bethlehem and see what they got in store for us. Whew. All right, I made it. Not that bad of a drive. It took me 55 minutes. Yeah, so ain't that bad. I'll spend like an hour. But I killed 10 minutes with less traffic this morning for some reason. Let's grab this filter. Let's start. And let's start on this maintenance. Alright. Here the boy goes. It's already on. That's good, I guess. Sort of bad because it's going to be hot when I touch it. Yep, that bad boy is already on. I just took the cover off. I unlocked the switch, it was shut the whole system off. It's pretty hot. It's probably been running for a long time. So I'm gonna sit here and wait. Wait to cool for a while. Because one thing I don't wanna do is one thing I don't wanna do is touch something really hot. Change your filter, guys. Remember to change them. Okay. All right, let it cool for a while. Should be good. Let's see what we got. Nope, seven point five. So I really can't record because it's pretty tough to record and check stuff because I left my um, my holder in the car. So what next we're gonna do is check this flame sensor, which is pretty easy to do. All you really have to do is hook this up right here. One second. Hook that bad boy up right there. Get you some jumper cables. I'll jump this bad boy out. Jumper cables hit up. Or you can even get something to hold in the switch. I usually like to use my magnet like this. Make sure there's no metal touching the other side of the jumper. Then we're gonna push that in. And actually, I forgot that she already has her heat on, but we're gonna still keep 
super heat on. So now I take this, take this other side of your meter. We're gonna basically touch this prong inside the flame sensor. Watch that flame come. There it goes. over two you're pretty good you know, what you it's a new system it's only about two years old or four, four years old yeah as you can see it's a five that's actually pretty perfect i was actually turning this off now before it gets really hot all right so i finished everything else in my maintenance little sheet now i'm just letting the system run for a while just to make sure that the time's out which is she really shouldn't but you never know to be honest with you but look this like is that wasness yeah, so wall for this while. It's crazy. Yeah, I'll let the system just run for a while. And then we should be good to head out. Boys to the next house. Alright guys, so I just made it to the next house. It took me probably about 30 to 35 minutes to get here. It wasn't that far from the last one. Um so we some maintenance it looks like a ranch type house. So I'm pretty sure we're going inside a crawl space. So let's get this started. All right. So it turns out it wasn't a crawl space. It wasn't in the attic. It was a package unit. But yeah, we do package units also. Not that often, but you do get them. And this one has tons of leftover grass in it. Man, I know he smells all that grass when he starts to system up. Take some of this grass out. System in shit off, so. We're good on that part. Let's just look at this bad boy. It's a gas page system, which is pretty normal for older systems. Let's see if I can find out what year this is from. 06. So, yeah, we got the igniter in there. Flame sensor looks screwed in. That's the first time I've seen that. Which, but yes, basically with this, all we gotta do is just cut this bad boy on, clean this a little bit out, make sure it's not that grassy. As you can see, a whole bunch of grass is just getting taken out. And basically check everything I checked last time in the last house. And it says this time it's on the package unit. So just finished checking out some stuff, cleaning out. It was lots of grass in there i tried cleaning out the best i could but hey you know you clean how you clean rate my cleaning scales on this unit in the comment section because i think i did a pretty good job if you ask me but i already started the system up i got it unplug again gonna hook everything back up start it up again make sure everything's look good with the door on and yeah we can head to the next house another maintenance call completed all right, we're at the last final stop. Took me probably about 20 minutes, a little bit closer to each other. Funny thing is, I was at this house two days ago. Well, not this house, the neighbor house two days ago. It's literally like the neighbor house, like literally right next door. So I probably, I basically know where everything's at in the house. So we're gonna go up there. It's a heat pump. Check that out real quick after I find out which filter to get. Um, where is it? Oh, got it. Yeah, so I'll go do that. Alright, so here goes the unit. Usually with the heat pumps, the only thing we're we'll doing is high is check the heat strips on the ox heat. I got the fan, not the fan to blow our wheel. I'm gonna get the coil and then, you know, change the filter and do some more stuff outside. But yeah, everything checked out pretty good. It's a pretty new system, 2016. Not that old. I'll get some of the duck It's a zone. There's a little comfort system right there. But yeah, I think we checked out pretty good up here. Alright, we outside. Um, actually, with the heat pump outside, we just test it out on defrost mode. I just take the amperage and check the capacitor. 
make sure everything's clean, nothing's rusty or nothing's freezing up, which didn't turn out anything here was, which is pretty good. Um, it's pretty cold out here. So, just turn the system back off. Ooh, oh my God, it's freezing. I don't know if it's because I'm so used to Georgia weather being warm, but it's pretty, pretty cold out here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this bad boy back up together, head back to the truck, warm my van up, and head on home. Whew. That's crazy. And that's it, guys. Uh, uh, pretty chill day. My nose running. Oh, excuse me, guys. I uh, had to get that. Uh, a chill, chill day. Nothing broke. Nothing had to be fixed. Just a couple of routine looks, looks around. Oh, uh, we sh I showed you three different units. I showed you a furnace, a heat pump, and a package unit. It was a, it's a, it's a good day. You, you see new stuff. But that's basically it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep up with weekly content every Thursday. It's your boy, H. Valgrady. I'm out. Peace.